Jungle Book. Once upon a time, in the African forest, lived all the animals under wise rules of the forest. There was a man's tribe living near the forest. One night, the lame tiger of the forest, Shere Khan, decided to hunt the villagers for food. He attacked the village with loud roars. Tabaki, the jackal, who was his sidekick, was following him. While catching a man, Shere Khan jumped right on the red flower and roared the loudest. Raksha was watching the view, sitting outside the cave with her cubs. This coward tiger, hunting the weakest ones, humans. After all, he is lame. How can we expect him to hunt a deer? Looks like he got nothing but a burnt leg. The roaring had stopped, and once again it was silent in the forest. While the wolves were talking, they saw a small rustling of bushes. Father Wolf took his position to jump right at it. The man cub. The baby had escaped from the village and crawled to the wolves' cave. I'll keep him with me and raise him like my cubs. I name him Mowgli. Rashka, I don't think the pack will accept a man cub. I'll see to it. Tabaki was hiding behind the cave and told Shere Khan about the man's cub. <laughs> Shere Khan immediately reached the cave. That man cub is my prey. Hand him over to me. Go away, you lame coward. He is my kid. And you just don't even dare touch him. Shere Khan, who was injured in the fire, left the place after seeing the mother's rage. One day, this kid will be under my paws and teeth. The next day, they presented Mowgli to the wolf pack. After a long debate and with the consent of Bagheera, the pack accepted Mowgli. Bagheera and Baloo will teach him the rules of the forest. He must return to his tribe when he grows up. Mowgli grew up in the forest, learning the forest way of living. <laughs> Baloo taught him all the jungle lore. He taught him how to speak animal languages. He also taught him his favorite things: getting the honey and catching the fish. Oh! 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 While Bagheera taught him self-defense, he was raised by a man himself. So he kept Mowgli connected to his humanity, and instructed him that one day he'll have to return to his own kind. Soon, Mowgli became fond of the forest. He was loved by his brother wolf cubs. Soon, he became friends with all the animals in the forest. As the years passed by. Akila, the leader of the wolf pack, was unable to hunt as before. Shere Khan decided to take advantage of her weakness. You young wolves, it's time for you to lead the pack. Remove Akila from the position. Give me the man cub, or I will always hunt in your territory and not give you a single bone to eat. The young wolves told Akila to leave the position. You are cowards if you are giving Mowgli to Shere Khan. I will agree to step down as a leader, but only if you let Mowgli go. Bagheera heard about this meeting. Mowgli, it's time to show Shere Khan his place. It's time to fight. But how can I fight with him alone? The whole pack is with Shere Khan now. You go to the man's village and get the red flower. The red flower will scare them away. I better leave the forest now and live with my kind. Mowgli hugged Bagheera and Baloo and cried for the first time in his life. Soon, Mowgli was sleeping on Baloo's stomach. They all fell asleep on a tree. The monkey troop saw Mowgli and carried him away. These monkeys were the craziest animals in the forest, who lived without any laws. 
When Baloo and Bagheera woke up, they thought that Mowgli must have left for the village. Mowgli was carried away through the forest trees by monkeys. Soon, he spotted Chill, the kite flying around. Mowgli told him in bird language to inform Baloo and Bagheera where the monkeys were taking him. <laughs> Shut your mouth. That's another trick. We want to learn all these tricks from you. We will soon rule the forest if we learn to control all the animals. <laughs> Chill told Baloo and Bagheera about Mowgli's kidnapping. They have kept Mowgli in the cold lairs. It is an abandoned city in the forest. Those monkeys are cunning and dangerous. We can't fight them alone. We must ask Ka for help. They convinced Ka the snake to come and help them. They all went to the ruins. Monkeys hid Mowgli under a giant dome. First, Bagheera entered the destruction. He bites and throws monkeys away. There were so many that he was outnumbered soon. Hide in the pond. I will take care of these crazy animals. Baloo started throwing monkeys here and there, but he soon was also outnumbered. All the monkeys sat on his stomach and beat him. Ka showed up and made a hiss. All the monkeys were scared away and climbed up the tree. Ka broke the dome where Mowgli was hidden and freed him. Oh, wow, what a delicious me. No, Ka! Keep your eyes away from the child. Ka uncoiled Mowgli. Then he started to dance, which hypnotized the monkeys, and she took them away with her. I think this forest is not for me anymore. I should leave the forest soon. Mowgli bid a last goodbye to Bagheera and Baloo and left for the village. The villagers were first afraid of Mowgli. This kid came from the forest. He might be an imposter. He can voodoo us. He looks like an innocent child. Why are you making such assumptions? Come, my child. You stay with me. Soon Mowgli became familiar with village life. He learned their language, too. They gave him the job to do, herding the cattle. His friend Bagheera and Baloo used to meet him on the mountains one day. But one day, his gray wolf brother came to meet him. The pack is in trouble. Shere Khan has decided to kill the wolves one by one. You decided to feed me to Shere Khan. Why should I care for you now? We are not of the same blood. But our mother raised us like we are siblings. We must take her revenge. What? Is... is mother... She died when fighting with Shere Khan. He came to the cave asking for you, but she didn't utter a word. Enough now! I will not spare Shere Khan! Mowgli took his cattle in the canyon where Shere Khan hid. He rode on one of the buffalo. As they reached the canyon, they were joined by Akila, the real leader of the pack. You take some cattle in opposite directions. I will bring them running from here. Shere Khan will get trapped. As planned, they left the cattle running towards Shere Khan. The whole canyon started trembling with their stamping feet. Shere Khan heard the thunder of their hooves, looking from side to side for some way of escape. But the walls of the canyon were straight and there was no way to escape. The cattle came running, all with fury, and tripped and stumbled and went over Shere Khan. The bull crushed Shere Khan in the mud. The buffaloes ran over him. There was no need for more running. It was over. It was the end of Shere Khan, the enemy of the village and the forest. <sighs> Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Mowgli took off Shere Khan's skin and went to the Wolf Hill. 
Seeing Shere Khan's skin on Mowgli's shoulders, all of the wolves howled loud in triumph. Akela was honored with her leadership and Mowgli left the forest. Soon, Mowgli found out that Masua was his real mother. The forest and the village lived happily ever after.